This episode of Film Rights brought to you by Domain.com and Full Sail University. Today on Film Right, we talk about jobs on set, who's doing what, and what not. Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques. So going to some of your favorite Hollywood films, I'm your host, Brian Conley. Hey, look at this little ditty sent in by a lovely maiden girl who watches the show. Hey Rye, I'm really loving all the tell stuff, but seeing all the people on set, I was wondering if you could tell us what all the roles are on set. Megan. The Hollywood set is a lot different than the indie film set, but even the indie film set is a whole lot different than the no budget film set. With a full blown Hollywood production, you have a different person running each department. Audio, camera, lighting, wardrobe, special effects, stunt team, the ADs, the PAs, and so on and so on. And those people have a bunch of people working under them and they have assistants and their assistants have assistants. It's quite Hollywood. But then you move down to the indie low budget level. This is where the personnel drops a number a whole lot. There are less people in each department and most people are pulling double duty. But still, for the most part, you have one person heading up each department and a few people working under them. But now we get to our level of things, and that's the no budget, or in my case, extreme micro budget level. This is where everyone on set is pulling double, triple, or quadruple duty, which was the case on the set of Tell. My crew was not only unpaid, but they were all doing multiple jobs and often trading jobs when need be. And since this was such a small budget, I stripped the crew down to absolutely what was needed to get the short film done. If it wasn't an absolutely necessary job to have on set, I just got rid of it. And that is what I'm going to show you here today. The jobs that are absolutely necessary for you to get your short film done. So now with that said, let's get into it. First on the list is the director. The director is the captain of the ship. As I've said before, the film is his vision and he is the one who guides the cast and the crew through all the stages of production creatively. So to think of it in one way, you could say that the cast, crew, script, and everything else that goes into making a film are the paint, canvas, and brush, but the director is the actual painter. Since Tell is a micro-budget short film, I'm not only the director, but the executive producer, cinematographer, cam op, audio department, special effects department, and a few other things, and this will be true for your production too if you're working with such a low budget and just family and friends. Next is the executive producer role I just mentioned. In a normal Hollywood system, the executive producer is the money and typically someone who doesn't have anything to do with the creative side of things. Oftentimes you'll hear them called the suit. But sometimes a notable person like Spielberg will be listed as the executive producer just to try to help the film's numbers even though Spielberg really didn't have anything to do with the film at all. But for the micro budget filmmaker, the director is almost always the executive producer because we typically are using our own money for the project. Next in line is the producer. This could be a really long explanation because producer's role can vary depending on how things go down, but the producer's main role is to oversee production from start to finish and make sure the vision for the film stays intact throughout the process. Sometimes a producer will be the one that owns the property and hires all the necessary parties like the director and finds the funding, which ends up being the executive producer, and sometimes he or she is brought in later. If they're the ones that have the property, that's when they can actually fire the director if they want to and step in like that. So like I said, it can get confusing, so we'll just have to leave it at that. For the micro budget, a producer is anyone that supplies something to help your film, like allowing you to shoot on their property or loaning you a car, etc. It's also a person who goes out and finds all the necessary things to make the film. So for Tell, I'm not the only producer. A lot of friends and families really helped me out on this one, including my brother Tim, who's actually in the film, Brad, my right-hand man on set, and my awesome parents. I love them. But, uh, wow, I feel like I've been babbling on for a while now. Let's take a break and do something fun. Hi, man. Are you done doing stand-ups? Ah, what? Stop slapping me! Ah! Okay. I accept it. (sighs) 
and on to the cinematographer and director of photography, or DP for short. Most of the time, these two terms mean the exact same thing, but they are also different. It kind of goes back and forth in the industry if they are one or two meanings. In the beginning, a cinematographer was when a DP and a cameraman were the same person, and the director of photography was a job that oversaw the camera department and directed the look of the film. But nowadays, they seem to be generally accepted to mean the same thing, though it still differs depending on who you talk to. Ryan? Stark! Stark! Ryan's in the... He was there a second ago! Weird. But now we move to the rest of the camera department, which are the first AC and the second AC. AC standing for assistant camera. The first AC's main job is to pull focus, so he's also called the focus puller. And since an out of focus shot is unusable and would ruin a perfect performance from the actor, the focus puller is expected to nail perfect focus on every single take, which is why the first AC's job is considered to be the hardest on set. The first AC is also the one who assembles the camera and maintains all the camera gear, including lenses. And once again on tell, I was my own first AC. The second AC, also known as the clapper loader, is the one who's in charge of the slate and for setting marks, which are points that your actor will hit during the scene. And if it's a production shot on film, they are also the ones who load film into the camera, which is why they're named clapper loader. On tell, several people share this job. Typically, they can be the same person as the boom op. If need be, just clap and then hold the boom. But uh... Wow, time flies, doesn't it? What do you say we snag a sponsor? It sounds good to me. Then one more click. And Josh Films Awesomeness is finally up. Hello. I saw your site went up. Already? I think we need to break up. Wait, why? You used a .com. Yeah? You clearly should have gotten a .tv from domain.com. You're going to be making films and web shows. It makes no sense that you'd use a .com over a .tv. And now, I don't know, I just, I feel like I don't know you anymore. I never want to speak to you again. I hate you. I hate you. Erica? Baby boo? What? Hey, Boo Boo Berry. This is the eighth message I'm leaving you. Listen, you gotta call me back. Josh Films Awesomeness is gonna be great. You'll see. Hope you got that. Hey. Hey. Why wouldn't you get a .tv from Domain.com? Just makes sense. Now I hate you and I don't even know you. I hate you now! Mom, you can't just own me over this! You don't even know what that is! Hello? Mommy? Oh, come on! <laughs> Just go to Domain.com and search for the perfect .tv domain for your website. Then use coupon code FILMRIOT at checkout to save an extra 15%. Remember, when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Got a great idea? It all starts with a great domain. Domain.com. Logo. Hey kids. Glad to see you back. So happy you returned. So glad. Just so, so glad. So, 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 so glad. So... Okay, move on. 
We're nearing the end of production on Tell. Only one more week of shooting after this, sadly enough. But as we have every week so that you stay involved with what we're doing, it's time to take a look-see, peek a at day five of production on Tell. And go. Ready, go. Do the bumper thing. And now. So that's the shot we're getting ready to shoot right now. And then I think we're going upstairs to set up the, lad the ladder for the attic. I think that's the next shot after this one. But it should be exciting. University is a great school. I know because that's the university that I graduated from. It's the kind of school that, like they tell you on the first day, gives you what you put into it. So if you go there ready to work and learn, you're gonna come out with a wealth of knowledge. Mostly because unlike other film school, Full Sail University's campus is equipped like a Hollywood studio backlot. Through the on-campus film bachelor's degree program, you'll learn the filmmaking process from start to finish on a campus where you'll be able to use the same gear that they're currently using in Hollywood films. I remember when I was there directing my final 35 millimeter film with the same airy camera that Peter Jackson was using to shoot King Kong at the exact same time. Full Sail University also offers a variety of campus and online degrees in fields related to the entertainment and media industry, including video games, art and design, recording arts, the entertainment business, and many more. So visit fullsale.edu forward slash film riot to learn more. <laughs> That's it, play a raid. But we aren't done with the jobs yet. We have a few more to go through next week, including a free download for you guys. Yes, I love those. But until then, hit me up on my Twitter, or if you'd rather, I now have a Facebook page rocking with some cool extra pictures and videos there. So go check it out, as does Josh and Stark. Josh's link. And then we'll wait a minute, and then we'll do Stark's link. So you can connect with us over there, and also check out our Film State YouTube channel if you want to see my one-minute reviews on X-Men and Super 8, and coming early next week, Green Lantern. And that's it. I'll see you guys next week when me and a friend uncover a frozen caveman in my backyard. We wheeze the juice. That sounds familiar. Shut up, Josh. Uh, sweating Bruno here. Todd Bruno, that is. Hey. He does this every time. It's kind of weird, but that's what he does. He's an actor. Hey. All right, I need some music. All right, give him a beat, Linda. <laughs> Hi, this is Ryan Conley from the set of Tell. Hola, yo soy Ryan Conley de El Sitio de Tell. I am sexy. Yo soy sexy. I like peanut butter. Me encanta peanut butter.